Welcome. Today we're continuing the Ikitama journey with episode 56 and 57. So the last mini arc had a very intriguing central theme as I said in the last review. It was about a son who couldn't face his mother, his own mother, because he saw himself as not worthy enough or not as an equal to his mother. And that's that sparked some very interesting topics of discussion. As always, if you enjoy the content I'm making and you want to support me, you can head over to my Patreon. Link is in the description down below. And you can also join the Discord server if you just want to hang out, talk or meditate. So let's get into episode 56. And Kondo was really standing up for himself and especially the Shinsugumi at the end there. Standing up for their well, you could say credo, even though, especially in that situation, all of the, well, the reporters and everyone watching was seeing them as incompetent and incapable of protecting uh, the city and its people. They showed that it's the opposite, that they are capable and that they are the right man for the job. I think Kondo's speech was actually really good. <laughs> I did not expect something like that. Well, we, we've often seen some of that uh, leadership, authority and a bit of his, I guess you could say, wise character sometimes. And it really shined in this episode. And as I said, I gained even more respect for him now. I also like that uh, our main characters were uh, just side characters in this episode. So we could really, uh, again, get a closer look at uh, Shinsugumi and also at, uh, wait, <laughs> I think I forgot a name, uh, Otsu, Otsu, yeah, it was Otsu, right? I think so. Yeah, you know, me and names. <laughs> um, she had some very interesting words to say uh, we saw that in the beginning when she was talking to Kondo and uh, their philosophy and her own philosophy it showed that she really matured as a character as a person through her hardships that she was experiencing in her singing career and it really makes you stronger going through all of that backlash, that hate from so many people. Well, some do. Some break, but she didn't. And she came out of that dark valley <laughs> a bit stronger. Well, not just a bit, actually. Much more stronger. And she had some very impactful words to share with Kondo and I really admire her for that. I did not expect that. What I also did not expect is the green haired guy with the headphones that is well supposedly a villain because he's in contact or in league with uh, Shinsuke Takasugi. So it's gonna be interesting to see uh, his development and his role in the story yeah interesting so let's get into episode 57 now i do really wonder how strong sakamoto truly is what would happen if 
Sakamoto and Gintuki would go all out in a duel, in a 1v1 fight. That would be so interesting to see in my opinion. Because we really don't know, we haven't experienced the ceiling of their power, especially for Sakamoto and also Gintuki so far and we uh, i <laughs> i don't actually know how much or how big of a beast is dwelling inside of both of them and we know that uh gintuki was called the what was it white demon something white or silver demon white demon no, I think it was White Demon. And I don't think that's just um, a title. It's it's more than that. It's actually... There's some kind of truth behind that. That when he is... Yeah, going all out, completely losing it. Losing himself in the heat of the battle. Then maybe a manifestation of a demon or something or just the aura of a demon uh, arises within him and he's just a monster and maybe it's also dangerous not just for his foes but also for his friends hmm maybe that's gonna play a role in future that would be interesting uh yeah I, I really like how they hide that. Maybe consciously, maybe subconsciously, who knows, but both of them, Sakamoto and Gintuki, they hide their strength. They downplay their strength. They seem to act like, um, yeah, idiots, <laughs> as we saw uh, Sakamoto get it called <laughs> an idiot, which is uh, in a way true. Uh, but Gintuki can also be an idiot sometimes. Actually, all of them, but <laughs> that's a different topic. And that makes them so much more mysterious and interesting. It's not like we get to see uh, uh, how strong or how capable they are in combat just from the start. And not just uh, combat-wise or ability-wise, but also character-wise. Because we still don't know that much about them. Maybe uh, this upcoming arc, the Benizakura arc, is gonna delve into their history a bit more. Because we're gonna see Shinsuke Takasugi, a former member of the army, the samurai. And yeah, a comrade, I guess, too. Gintuki and Katsura. Yeah, Katsura is gonna appear also. <clears throat> Katsura is also very strong, but we saw more of him than, yeah, in a way. Very interesting. Yeah. Katsura, Gintuki, and Sakamoto. I hope Sakamoto is gonna play a role in this upcoming arc. Um, he could be an asset. I don't know, uh, in transportation, because he has ships, even though they're trading ships, but they do have cannons, they do have weaponry, as we saw <laughs> uh, at the end of this episode. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm just so excited for the upcoming arc. It's gonna be awesome. Also, uh, regarding Sakamoto, he has a very interesting relationship with uh, Mutsu, his subordinate. Because it's not just a simple subordinate and superior relationship, but it goes a bit deeper than that. We can see that they both trust each other very dearly and very deeply. And so, um, yeah, I, I think in a way they understand each other with without words because they have been together for quite some time i believe 
and yeah you just get to know a person sometimes now this is the case for Gintoki because Kagura, Shin and him Kagura and Shin they don't really know that much about him in a way they're like uh, the viewer because me as the viewer I have not seen almost anything of his past of his history and so did uh, Kagura and Shin that is a very interesting uh, reflection I'm using the word interesting a lot in this review but there's a lot of interesting things in Gintama so yeah um yeah and I like their relationship between uh, the relationship between Mutsu and Sakamoto also like Mutsu as a character herself she's kind of badass and also cool-headed yeah pretty cool really enjoyed this episode I hope you did as well if you did uh, leave a like down below comment what you think and subscribe if you haven't yet so enjoy your day take care and bye